folks. Today's coffee review is going to be a very quick one. And that is because I just really didn't get around to taking a lot of good notes on this one. But I did really enjoy the coffee and that's gonna be the bottom line of this review. Um, I initially wasn't going to do it because the coffee arrived uh, two months post roast. And normally I specify when a roaster sends me coffee that I want it within two weeks so I can try it in its best state. <laughs> Even though I did receive this coffee though very late and way past the roast date, I gave it a try anyway and I wasn't disappointed. So it is from Strangers Coffee Company and they are from, from the UK, uh, specifically Norwich, Norfolk County. Uh, I'm not sure if they say Norfolk or Norfolk. Uh, I'm just basing it off of the Virginia city. Um, but in any case, this is a coffee from overseas. And I don't get to try too many specialty coffees from abroad. Uh, my experience kind of consists mostly domestically here in the US. Uh, but I have had some coffees from over in the Nordic region of the world, and those came from Cafe Box. Um, I can, you know, it's one of those things I don't know if I'm pronouncing right, but let's just move along and not get too sidetracked. So, this is the Rocco Mountain 2017 crop, another Ethiopian coffee. It is a light roast coffee, as I tend to love, and it was grown between 1900 and 2150 meters above sea level. It comes from the world famous Yergeshef region, which is also a coffee grade. I didn't know that. And this is the Haricha Wareda Gedeo zone. So it is a big region, and more specifically, it is in this zone that I just mentioned, and it comes from this year's, or now, last year's crop of 2017. The coffee was naturally processed, and it is the heirloom variety, which is pretty common in Ethiopia. The um, the uh, indigenous heirloom and basically the way this coffee tasted was fruity uh, I would say berry fruit is what I picked up a lot of sweetness despite the age it still really held up so when I have a coffee like that that um, tends to age well it, it indicates to me that it is a really good one and I can only imagine how good it would have tasted if they had sent it to me earlier. I can't be complaining though, because I did get it for free. Well, in exchange for a review. And um, I, I just wanted to do a quick quick summary, tell you what I know about it, um, based off of what I read on the bag um, and what my experience was. But I brewed this mostly through um, the American press which is kind of like a, a French press, Aero Press had a baby, and it came out delicious pretty much every time, uh, including espresso. I did some espresso. It was like not um, probably as good as it could have been with, you know, um, a lot of rich body and crema. Um, I would say that this was on the lighter side body wise, but the flavor and sweetness were something to write home about so there you have it that is strangers coffee company out of the uk and this is the rocco mountain 2017 crop from ethiopia you can order it on their website and i'm pretty confident they ship internationally um and i'll let you do all the conversions uh, as to what it would cost in US dollars or whatever your currency is, but I believe uh, the website said it's about eight dollars uh, or sorry eight pounds for a bag of 250 grams of coffee So thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you love 
coffee or coffee reviews, equipment reviews, etc.